Let's take a look. Oh, there he is. Wow. Keep him in a container, not on the floor. <laughs> I know these Looks guys. Good, right? These guys are jumpers. This fish right here is actually a Scooter Denny Spotted Congo Puffer. Holy cow. If we get like 75 likes on this video, I'll do like a care guide video specifically for the silver arowanas. What is going on everybody? It's your boy Anthony, Long Island Fish Guy here. And on today's video, we're getting something pretty special. And if you've watched two videos ago, I came to Country Critters. And we found that gold arowana. <sighs> I wasn't gonna get this fish. I know how big I want to get, but you guys love this fish. I got a lot of DMs, a lot of comments. So we're gonna go check it out again. <laughs> we're also obviously gonna check out what else Country Critters has like always. And a good friend of ours, a good friend of the channels. We got Joe here. Because of coronavirus and such, we did not, we haven't been making a lot of content with Joe, but uh, you know, we're gonna be checking out Country Critters today. Joe's building out like a nice planted aquarium and such. So we're gonna go ahead and check out Country Critters today, as always, and see what they got. If you guys do like this video, be sure to like the video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other content like this. So we were actually just here not too long ago. So we're not gonna do a big, crazy fish shore tour. One thing I didn't cover though, actually, is this. And Joe, I know you were a big Frontosa guy back in the day. But he said that they actually added these Frontosa in here. And they've just been breeding. So you see like these big monsters, like this yeah. guy right here. See this guy, this little one right here? Like these littler ones are just offspring. And I was looking, if you look inside the rocks, there's actually some little guys. Yeah, look, there's one right there actually. There's a little guy, look. So they just keep spawning and some of them live. It's kind of crazy. It is actually packed in country critters right now. I'm actually kind of shocked, but let's take a look. Oh, there he is, wow. There he is, gold arowana. Now guys, I covered this in my last video or two videos ago. Basically, I believe this fish is a latistic silver arowana. And the reason why it's latistic is because it has an albino body, but it has the normal eyes, the normal black eyes of a normal silver arowana. He looks awesome. He's definitely put on some size since the last time I saw him. Gonna continue taking another look around the store, see if there's been any kind of new fish added. Country Critters always has some really dope fish, so I'm pretty sure there is stuff. And like I said, Joe, Joe's also building out his planted aquarium, so he's probably gonna be buying some stuff here today too. Look, I think these are probably... Wow, <laughs> talking about how big arowana get. Look at the size of this guy. <laughs> I showed my wife these fish. My wife likes to look at my videos. She loved these guys last time, the T-bar cichlids. They, uh, <clears throat> their eyes are just so gorgeous. They're nice dark bodies with bright blue eyes. If I ever do set up a wife tank, probably have to add some of these uh, T-bar cichlids in there. I have the blue Dempsey. I know, I saw these last time. I was considering getting them, but I never have luck with these electric blue jack Dempsey's. They're like, some people say they're genetically modified, and that's why, when do you ever see a big electric blue jack Dempsey? They're very, Uncommon. Joe and I were just talking saying that they actually don't have, Country Critters always has really like big, crazy, exotic fish, and they don't have neon tetras here. We're both looking for neon tetras. Uh, Joe, like I said, has that big planted tank now. I'm actually working on a little project I haven't announced yet, but I probably will announce at some point in this video, and I kind of need some neon tetras. I already have some, but I want to add a little bit more. I haven't showed you guys this yet on YouTube. There's a lot of stuff going on. We got something extremely cool in the works right now, but you'll have to stay tuned to find out what I got cooking. Dude, look at these guys. African dragon eels. He's like the true moray eel. These guys are really crazy looking. I don't really take a look at the saltwater stuff that often, so I'm pretty impressed pretty easily by saltwater. Like, take a look at this eel. There's another one. This guy's pretty cool. Like, obviously these porcupine puffers. <laughs> Joe is about to set up a saltwater tank just for the porcupine puffer. He loves these guys. All right. He's definitely feisty. 
Keep him in a container, not on the floor. <laughs> I know these Looks guys. Good, right? These guys are jumpers. Looks good. Nice. All right, guys. So got the Air One in the car in the front seat. Got the Fluval Flex 15 gallon. Those neon tetras I was talking about before. A little teaser for that. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos or future videos they come out with. All right, guys. So I am gonna head home, acclimate the arowana, put them into the tanks. Joe, how do we feel about today? It's okay. <laughs> so, Joe, Joe went was leaving, going home empty-handed. Very unusual for Joe because he never comes home empty-handed, but. You know, that's just sometimes how it goes, you know? All right, guys, so we are back in the fish room. The arowana is actually just hanging out right now. We're acclimating him. Rich told me from Country Critters that the pH was pretty low in that tank. They keep it pretty low. Uh, my pH is typically at about seven. So I wanted to make sure that we, you know, make sure we acclimate him not only temperature wise, but pH wise to him as well. To kind of take a deeper look at him. The reason why he's called a golden arowana is because he's a lotistic arowana. He has the body of an albino, but he has normal eyes. His eyes are pitch black. As he gets older, he's only going to get more and more golden looking and obviously the eyes will stay the same. We'll take a look at that in a little bit, but I kind of want to show you guys this tank and let you guys know some of the plans I have. This here is a 10 gallon tank. I'm typically using it for quarantine. I posted on Instagram about this guy, but this fish right here is actually a Scooter Denny Spotted Congo Puffer. Uh, it's very similar to a Mabu Puffer, but gets extremely small comparatively. A uh, Mabu Puffer, I think it's to be about three feet or so or two feet or so, and uh, this Mabu puff, uh, this uh, spotted Congo puffer gets to be about three inches. So yeah, you can tell that the difference is very different there. We got some Sturby Corridors in the back as well. You can see some over there. We have six total in this aquarium. And then we actually have 12 Neon Tetras, which honestly I was looking for some more today, but Country Creators didn't have any more Neon Tetras. What are we doing with this tank? So right now it's basically, it, I was using it like a quarantine tank, but that Fluval Aquarium that was actually in the trunk, we're gonna be setting that up. Because of COVID, uh, I am actually working from home right now. One of my buddies, Mitch, who I do work with as well, is you know, a big you know, has been a friend of mine for a while. I saw we were, you know, Google chatting one day and I saw a big glow. I said, Mitch, what is that? What, what what's that big glow right next to me? He says, Hey, those are my aquariums. They're right next to me when I work. And I said, Hey, I clearly can't work down here. There's a there's a there's a boil over here. I can't work down here, but I can have a fish tank upstairs. So we're gonna be setting up that uh, Fluval uh, was it Flex Fluval Edge? I think it's a Fluval Edge, a one little curved one. It's like a bow front, but the opposite way. We're gonna be setting that up upstairs in my office. I'm gonna make a whole video, two videos, three videos potentially about it, and we're gonna make it a planted aquarium. So be sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss any of that. All right, guys. So it's actually been about an hour now. And the arowana has been acclimating for a little bit, so we're going to go ahead and put him in. All right, now watch it come in. There he goes. All right, guys, so it's actually been a few hours now. I've turned down, like I always do, these Fluval Aqua Sky LEDs. I'm gonna like, turn on the lights to them. Take a look at the way this arowana looks. Guys, look at him. Holy cow. This guy legit is completely golden right now. This fish looks crazy under this light. So crazy. I know right now it's showing up a little bit pink on camera, but in person, it's just so golden. I mean, take a look at this guy. He, he's not even in like the brightest of light right now, but he's in like, you know, a decorated aquarium. He is just showing ridiculous colors right now. Just ridiculous colors. If you guys can kind of see, he also has some like orange, like right by his gill plate. He has some like really cool, oh, here he comes right up to us. 
He has some like orange on like his gill plate and like right behind like where his pectorals are. Really nice looking. I am super happy I actually got this arowana, guys. I'm so happy that my subscribers kind of reached out to me and were like, hey, I know you're not thinking about getting that fish, but you should definitely get that fish because I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for you guys. So shout out to the people who, who told me to actually go out and get it. You know, if you guys see fish in these fish stores, when I do these fish store tours, you guys see fish that you got your eye on, you think I should get, you let me know. I can always go right back to the store and go get it if I didn't already get it. If we get like 75 likes on this video, I'll do like a care guide video specifically for the silver arowanas. 75 likes, I'll make the video. You let me know if you want it. But that's gonna be it for this video, so if you guys did like this video, be sure to subscribe. Check out some of the other content here on my channel. Ding that notification bell if you already subscribed, but most importantly, don't forget to fish on.